9 Secrets to a Lasting Relationship According to 1,500 Happy Couples Best-selling author and blogger Mark Manson asked his audience for relationship advice. Mark Manson is a blogger and entrepreneur who's best known as the author of the bestseller. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F As a newlywed, he started wondering what it takes to keep a marriage strong, so he decided to ask his audience. He asked his readers who had been married for at least 10 years, and were still happy in their marriage to tell him what the secrets are. After read through all the answers, he found that there is a formula to having a happy marriage. You can find the link to all of the advice in the description down below. Meanwhile, here's my take on some of Mason's readers' best tips. 1. Be together for the right reasons. Being in a loving and committed relationship is one of the best feelings on earth. But only if you're there because your heart is in the right place. No one goes into a relationship wanting it to end. However, as time goes on and little has changed, you may find that you either get bored and exhausted of it yet still chose to stick around, foolishly believing that things will change, but end up worse. Some of the most common reasons why people tend to stay together when they are not truly compatible include Pressure from friends and family Fear of being single or lonely Being together for image Being young and naive and hopeless in love, thinking that love would solve everything. If you are with someone in a relationship for the wrong reasons, you need to stop playing games with yourself, and end it. Choose to be someone that you simply love being around and have a genuine, deep level admiration for. You deserve to be happy. 2. Have realistic expectations about relationships and romance. When you're new in a relationship with someone, everything is wonderful and new. But after a while, this feeling starts to go away. You then enter the face of formality. If you expect a fairy tale relationship, you will be let down. Living happily ever after is a nice thought, but in reality, you will have problems and disagreements with your partner. You're going to argue with the person that you love. Your partner will get on your nerves. You'll have to compromise at some point. There are going to be rough times no matter what. By recognizing this, you won't beat yourself up or give up on your relationship easily. 3. The most important factor in a relationship is not communication, but respect. Most people consider communication to be the most important part of relationships. While communication is certainly important, respect is even more so. Communication helps you to make sure you both want and expect the same things, but it will break down at some point. The only thing that will keep you going is a deep sense of respect for each other. Respect is what will cause your partner to give you the space to make important decisions and support you in them. Instead of putting you down or ignoring your wishes that may not be as important to them. If there is no respect, the relationship will not survive. 4. Talk openly about everything, especially the stuff that hurts. In a relationship, it's inevitable that some things your partner does, or doesn't do will drive you nuts. Most of us either don't talk to our partner about what annoys us, and get resentful. This is bad, because if you don't talk about it, over time, it snowballs into disappointment, bitterness, and hard feelings. When we are stressed, it's very easy to vent to others about our issues in our relationships. However, this won't solve anything. The only person who can help solve the problem is the person involved. Your partner. If you want the relationship to last, you need to be able to communicate anything that's bothering you directly to your partner. This is how you build trust and intimacy. It can feel uncomfortable the first few times, but the more you open up, the easier it gets to share how you feel. 5. A healthy relationship means two healthy individuals. Have you heard it said that it is impossible to make someone else happy, if you aren't happy with yourself? People who aren't happy with themselves, are often plagued by insecurities, and trust issues, that stem from low self-esteem. They will only bring negativity into a relationship. So before entering into a relationship, 
you need to find yourself, and solve any past issues. When you can be happy with who you are as an individual, your relationship will be seen as an enhancement to the happiness you've already created within yourself. And most importantly, you will not expect your partner, to be responsible for your happiness. In addition, don't try to change your partner. If you are in your relationship with the idea that, you'll only be happy when your partner fits the mold you have designed for them, you should not be in the relationship. Strive to treat your partner with love and respect, enjoying them for who they are now, not who they could be someday. A happy relationship starts with two happy individuals. You are the only person, who can please yourself in the long run. Do things that make you feel alive, and work on your self-confidence. This is how you can bring more joy into your relationship. 6. Give each other space. The best moments of our lives, are the ones we've shared with someone special. But too much togetherness can ruin a perfect relationship too. Even if it's true love, spending all the time together can get boring over the years, if neither of the partners has anything new, or unique to share. Healthy couples give each other space to have hobbies, friendships, and a life outside the relationship. Expanding your horizons, and having some separate time to pursue individual interests, can help you flourish as a couple. 7. Get good at fighting. Fighting is a normal and expected part of any relationship. Everyone has disagreements, and that's okay. According to recent surveys, almost half of married couples believe that, fighting more than once a week helps them to keep healthy, and productive relationships for a long time. Fighting helps you reconsider your values and feelings by addressing and discussing the things that are important to you. However, your argument should be healthy, and non-combative. Always try to state your points without blaming, criticizing, or raising your voice. And remember that, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, the most valuable thing is that, you learn a lot about each other, and even more importantly, about yourself. 8. Get good at forgiveness. Studies have shown that, forgiveness is an essential component of successful relationships. If you're married, or in a close relationship, you've been there. Your partner has said or done something, that has wounded you. It may be something small, or it may be a major betrayal. Many of us take revenge to strike back immediately, or hold on to resentment toward our partner. And the last thing we want to do is to let it go. It's not unusual to feel this way. And yet, if our desire is to have a healthy, lasting relationship, forgiveness is exactly what we've got to do. Forgiveness means that, you let go of the past, so it doesn't carry into your future. Remember that everyone makes mistakes. We all have bad or grumpy days. Most of us say things we don't mean now and then. Everyone needs to forgive and to be forgiven. Forgiveness isn't just about retaining harmony in your relationship, it's also about being kind to yourself. 9. Sex Matters As you get busier and your marriage gets more comfortable, sex becomes harder to make time for. It's natural, but just because it's natural doesn't mean it's good. You can and should make time for sex, even when the time feels like the last thing you have. For many couples, the closest thing they have to a real interaction throughout the day, is a brief chat while getting ready in the bathroom, and, maybe, a check-in before going to sleep. These relationships are running on fumes, and while that's sustainable for a short season, it's no way to keep a relationship thriving. According to researches, having sex once a week is all we need to be happy. If one or both of you have been picking up on a disconnect lately, chances are pretty good that, you should be having sex more often. What's your secret to keeping your relationship strong? Please let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with a friend. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you click on the notification bell. If you're still here, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thank you for watching.